So a couple of weeks ago, I was going from Zephyr Hills to Wachula in Florida, and I got a traffic advisory. And I looked out the windshield, and there it was. A dot on my windshield, completely motionless. Just a dot, not moving. I immediately made a 90 degree turn and descended and glanced at my iPad, and sure enough, there it was, two miles, right in front of me, same altitude, and same direction. That stopped my heart for a second. Spotting aircraft can be really tricky, but it's necessary and there is a method to it. So, rule number one, if it's not moving on your windshield, adjust your course. When an airplane is headed toward your path of flight, it will obviously appear to be standing still, and that's something you really don't want to see. You should always be scanning for traffic, just out of habit. The airport I fly out of in Florida, Zephyr Hills, there is every single imaginable flying machine in the air. They have gyrocopters, they have gliders, they have powered parachutes, revotrikes, skydivers, and it's all there all the time. So it's kind of crazy, but you always need to be scanning. Spotting for traffic can be tricky. Scan in 10 degree increments all the time. Your iPad with ADS-B will show you. And if you don't have one, buy a Stratus or another ADS-B in system where you can see traffic, which leads me to my next point. Always get flight following. I was talking with a pilot the other day and he rarely gets flight following and I thought that's just poor practice. It doesn't make sense. Getting flight following doesn't relieve you of consistently looking for traffic because see and avoid is there and it's our responsibility as pilots. But it does give you another pair of eyes looking out for you and it helps. Okay, so much. Great day, uh, 970 Delta Alpha. Hey, we're TT1 for Yankee traffic alert. Traffic 12 o'clock at a mile converging 2300 to Skyhawk. Uh, 2 for Yankee is descending negative visual, got him on my iPad looking. I fly in busy airspace and it always surprises me how close things get. VFR flight following will provide a controller following your route of flight and they will provide traffic calls for you if there is a conflict. Again, this doesn't relieve you of sea and avoid, but it's an extra pair of eyes. So always get flight following. It's just good practice. So this is a short message. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Go ahead, click the subscribe button, click the like button, do what you need to do. And remember, if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.